Hey everybody, it's June. It's really hot outside. My phone says it's 95. I was gonna do a quick comparison between insulation and no insulation. So I'm out here in my shop. It's not quite done yet, but I want. So I've been putting up R19 insulation all the way around. And uh, the shop already has this, some people call it double bubble, but it's like, uh, the thin bubble wraps type insulation and the other side has uh, is silver, like reflective vapor barrier. And then it's got like a small, like quarter inch layer of foam in the middle and then it's white on the inside, which it does, it does help. But then I'm taking, uh, since these are two by six walls, I have this framed out in two by fours, but the cavity is still two by six. So I'm putting R19 in all of these walls. And I want to do a quick comparison between this, I think this is R7, R5, maybe R3. Um, this is on the shady side of the shop. So it's reading 100 degrees and it's about the same, 101 on the inside of the insulation. But when we go over here to the sunny side, the thermostat says it's 103 in here. And if we try this again, we're 100. 203 and then when we go over here we're 107 or 910 so that's just showing you the difference I don't even have sheetrock up and you know we're at 120 degrees right there versus 103 so we're talking a 17 degree difference and I don't even have sheetrock up yet so I don't know I just thought that was really interesting and record a quick video on it so you can see the the temperature differences it's 103 to 120 and then we go over here to the window Ooh, that's bright it's like 107 on the windowsill and then i've got this tiny air conditioner running only because it was free it's like a 12,000 btu but it's only good for 400 square foot and this is like 16 1400 square foot and it's got 13 foot walls and no ceiling so it's working good it's putting out good 66 degree air 64 degree air but it's not it's not enough to keep the shop cool I put a fan in front of it but it's not it's not doing a whole lot for me so anyways that was just a quick comparison between R19 and your double bubble type insulation it does make quite a bit of a difference